Hi guys, alright so today is going to be a really really quick tutorial, um, I'm just basically going to be covering something that's been driving me crazy and I had to do quite a little bit of research to try and figure out why this was happening, uh, but it's basically when we use Marvelous uh, Design in conjunction with ZBrush, whenever we import our MD garments into ZBrush and we try and smooth our garments, you'll see that our garment starts breaking apart like this, right? And this is very destructive. This is really disheartening and uh, this garment's basically I can't even use this anymore if I can't even smooth these areas then what's the point right so like I said did a bit of research and uh, the solution to this is really really simple guys so in order to prevent garments from breaking up like this when we smooth them all we have to do is you can see I've just imported my garment I haven't I haven't done anything else if I click on poly um, the poly frame, you can see that this is a single poly group. Uh, if you actually want to see the different poly groups over here, all we'd have to do is go to auto groups. So we can see exactly what's happening here. And basically, these are all of the patterns in MD that were all sewed together. So we can actually see where our seams are. So when we're trying to smooth in those areas, it's just breaking it apart. So in order to fix that, it's really simple, guys. We want to go to geometry go to modify topology and click on weld points so as soon as we click on that and I try and smooth this now you can see that our garment is no longer breaking apart so this is really useful this is going to allow us to subdivide our mesh further and we can go if we've got a seams brush we can go back and actually draw some of the seams back in add some additional detail to our garment and we can smooth it without the garment breaking apart so that's basically the solution guys it's just modified topology and weld points now uh, for some of you guys you're probably looking at my garment and you're wondering why this isn't complete uh, this is because i actually didn't add any thickness in marvelous design i didn't export it with thickness so uh, it just looks all weird like this so if you guys are experiencing the exact same thing just another quick tip you want to go to edge loop and nearby panel loops you want to put the polish on zero our thickness on 0 0.001 and then click on panel loops and there we go you can see that we've got a closed garment now and we've still got all of our poly groups over here and aha okay so you can see again that uh, this is another reason why I don't really work with all of the poly groups visible like this because it's still can cause these breakup errors right so what I would do before I actually apply a panel loop I'd go back and make sure that this is one group so the way that I work is how instead of whoa and my ZBrush has crashed apologies guys uh, as you can see ZBrush can be unstable at times and the program crashed but I just opened it up again imported my garment and as I was saying uh, instead of splitting this up using the auto groups I actually keep it as a single poly group and instead what I would do in Marvelous Designer is I would export separate sections as individual meshes so if I just wanted the sleeves I'll export the sleeves and then import that separately if I just wanted this front piece because you can see sometimes those poly groups can just cause a lot of problems so like we did earlier you can see my garments breaking up so I'm going to go to geometry modify topology weld points and now I can smooth without it breaking apart and now I'll go to edge loop and we'll do those panel loops again put that on 0 0 0.001 click panel loops and now you can see that because it's a singular uh, poly group well there is a poly group in the inside over there because it added some kind of thickness to it but now that it's a single poly group you saw that earlier when we had those separate poly groups over here it was still breaking apart even after we put wel uh, welded points so I just tend to keep it as one poly group like this and then what I would do from here is just subdivide this further and if you've actually got um, some seams brushes so I've I went to uh, Bad King and they've got some pretty cool uh, clothing brushes uh, there's a seams cloth brush over here I basically just come back here make sure a yeah, lazy mouth mouse is activated and I would just draw just increase the int intensity I would draw some of these seams 
uh, back in so that intensity is really high uh, but you guys kind of get an idea uh, of what I would do here to maybe push uh, the garment a little bit further uh, but like I said this tutorial was focused on uh, just showing you how to prevent the garment from breaking apart so I hope that guys saves you a bunch of headaches it saved me a bunch of headaches and uh, just a quick tip guys and as always thank you for watching my tutorials and stay tuned for some more Alright, goodbye.